Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach. This is my little internet show about whitewater stuff. And this episode, I'll talk about pins and clips and why I like them. And there's been a lot of chatter on Facebook lately, and it's it's hard to have this discussion, but with just little tidbits of notes. So I want to give my semi-complete thoughts about why I like pins and clips so much. Don't get me wrong, I like gore locks too. I, I have a rafting company. We do all overnight trips. Whenever I'm guiding a multi-day, pretty much except for the, the Illinois, I'm running running what I call spinnies or orlocks, right? All of our oars are spinnies, right? I own a bunch of these. I use them all the time. And sometimes I'll even go row one of each. So I've experienced why they're different in having a spinny on one side and a pin and clip on the other side. I get it. With spinnies, you know, you can feel the river. You're in touch with mother nature. You're, you're using the underwater currents. You're going, you know, when it gets windy, you can move your oars through the wind. I get all the benefits. Spinnies are super cool. And I even like oar rights. You know, putting this thing down, I have these convertible ones, pop it down if I'm walking the place. There's some great advantages to oar rights. And a lot of you call them training wheels, and they're not. The best class five plus cab motors I know run these oar rights. So let's talk about pins and clips a little bit and why I like pins and clips. The first thing, it enforces really good rowing. In my mind, if you want to learn how to row, and, and advance quickly, yeah, use spinnies. It's a, it's a great way to get better quick. But if you want long-term success, you want to start with pins and clips because it makes you do the right things in a rowing. One thing in particular is it makes you ship. You're not allowed to pull your oar in. With spinnies, if you go by a rock, you can pull your oar in, which I think is really bad form because with the oar pulled in, half the oar is out, half the oar is here. If it hits something, you're going to get hurt, right? So if you want to advance to harder whitewater, you need to learn how to ship. And shipping means the blade is forward like this. So you're rowing along, rowing along, and you do this. And with pins and clips, you have to develop the skill. It forces you to develop it. A lot of people think you can like throw your O's forward, but that's not good either. You really want a forward ship because as soon as you pass the obstacle, you can put that oar in the water. So when you're learning, you develop really good sh shipping habits because you have to. Also, pins and clips, they don't come backwards. So if you're getting tossed backwards, if I get tossed backwards, the spinny goes like this, the pin and clip's in place. Or side to side, my, my pin and clip goes like this and it stops and I have something to hold on to where the spinny keeps going like this. So pins and clips, it's a good place to hold on to while you're rowing and it's a good de t technique to develop to hold on your oars. I see a lot of people who row, who row class five, and they're on their spinnies and they're grabbing their frame all the time. They're, let, they're throwing their, their oars and holding their frame. I personally think that that's just really bad form. When you're rowing, it's really important to me that you're doing proper shipping and that you're holding onto your oars all the time. Now, sometimes they get pulled out of your hand. I get it, right? It happens to me all the time too. But you really want to be holding onto your oars so as soon as you go over a drop, you can put that oar in the water and keep rowing. So just to reiterate all that, I feel like People who roll with pins and clips have much better form in general because they're better at shipping and because, because they hold onto their oar. Now, there's a few other things about pins and clips that I really like. One is, you know, people with spinnies talk about like, you know, if it's, if it's caught in an underwater current, you, you can quickly spin it and, and, and get it out. I and mean, with pins and clips, you can always get out like that. Your, your blade's always vertical. So no matter what chaotic water you're in, as you learn to use these, you just always push down like that and the blade comes up. You're never dealing with blades that are in the current doing weird things. Sometimes when I row with spinnies, it gets caught and I have to like twist it and then pull it up. With pins and clips, I just do this. And it takes a little while to learn, um, but, but you can do it. And you know, a lot of guides that use spinnies or people that use spinnies, you know, if they get it sideways to the boat and the blade is sideways, they, they break a lot that way. So if you get caught and it goes up, the, I don't know if this makes sense, but the blade turns and the water current's hitting it, you really can't get it fixed in that position. Where again, when this thing goes next to, to the boat, the, the blade is, is uh, perpendicular to the current or parallel to the current. So it doesn't catch as much on boat. So I know a lot of guys, specifically in the Fu La Fu, that run spinnies do break a lot of oars because they're not used to like the power of the water and it gets caught into the boat and, and it flips you off. Uh, and there's, a, there's other advantages of pins and clips. To me, the really big one is it just keeps you in the boat. So if I'm running class three and four, and I already talked about this, but if I'm running just regular rafting, 
I'm fine with spinnings. I actually like spinnings. I like feeling the currents. I like being in touch with the river and, and all that. But when I'm running steep technical water and I'm getting tossed around a lot, the number one advantage of the pins and clips to me is the fact that it's keeping me in the boat. I'm getting thrown all over the place. My oars are in my hands. I'm not letting go and grabbing my frame. I can keep rowing. So that's the main reason why I run these on, uh, on hard rivers, like class five rivers, things that are steep. That's just my choice. So just some different thoughts. There's a lot of different opinions on this. I know it's a hot, it's a hot button topic. I would say people though who run spinnies really bag on pins and clippers. Like in my experience, if you're, if you're sold on open oar locks and living free and loose, right? People like that are generally pretty harsh on pins and clippers. You rarely hit, hit your people that do pins and clips bag on the spinnies. And so I feel like sort of like I have to defend my brethren who love this art form. And I think it's very much an art form. It's very, it's actually difficult in a lot of ways because you're, 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 you're pinned basically. I mean, technically you're pinned. And I think it's um, a, a really nice, beautiful thing when somebody is good at rowing at pins and clips. So um, anyway, those are my kind of complex thoughts about pins and clips. As always, smash the like button, subscribe. Uh, if you have comments, I'm sure some of you are like, Zach, you're an idiot, you're wrong, like spinnies rule. Cool, tell me that, that's fine. And some of you out there, they're like, yeah, pins and clips, I dig them, I like them. They're cool too. Um, I'd love to hear comments and um, yeah, see you in the next episode, thanks.